Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Mike Pence, the former vice president of the United States of America. The first time I laid eyes on this guy, uh, <laughs> I said, this is a piece of shit. Now, why did Trump uh, use him? Only he knows. They say, well, with a Christian, with a whatever. Well, if that's the best product to attract uh, believers uh, to vote for you, Pence, then I don't know what to tell you, my friends. Um, Pence is a, my assessment, very narrow-minded person. Let's put it mildly using euphemistic uh, speech here. Uh, anyway, what did he do? He didn't do anything good. That's the problem. Now he went, he wants to be the new president of the United States of America. He runs for office uh, for 2024, right? And he goes to Kiev to meet that uh, guy Zelensky in charge uh, of Ukraine, of the Ukrainian nation, to score some points. Um, Biden, uh, Pence is a guy who's in the pockets of certain interests and is very obvious about it. He went to Kiev and he made some uh, stupid, good for him statements. Stupid for me, good for others. Why? Because it fits the narrative. But these his statements are, how should I put it, wishful thinking, not based on evidence, but are very, very dangerous. That's the problem with Pence. He's not going to be elected, but he could be a good candidate for the big interest. Okay, that's for sure. Let's see here. The Kiev Independent, Independent, Thursday, July 6, 2023. Pence, US, U.S. will have to fight Russia if Ukraine defeated. All right, so I think these guys are just um, grooming us slowly into accepting that it's going to be a natural course of events for the United States to use troops to attack the Russians. Uh, I think that's what they get us um, to, to the point of, of accepting that, like they did with everything else, sending so much, uh, so many billions of dollars over there, little by little, sending any kind of uh, military equipment, weapons, to uh, defend <laughs> uh, Ukraine from the invaders. So let's read later because uh, further, because uh, Pence is going to give us some justification and how he sees the Armageddon coming and the second coming of Christ. I think he lives in that kind of uh, worldview. Another I think he's proud of it. So let's see. The, yeah, these guys. You see, the Kiev Independent loves him now very much. If this guy would have had some question, I mean, he doesn't even look, I don't know, what's going on here? Anyway, is that a middle finger? No. Anyway, if Ukraine is defeated in the war, the US will have to send troops to fight Russia's further aggression. That's a scenario right here. All right, I don't subscribe to that scenario. I don't think that would happen, Pence, because by that time, Jesus Christ will have his second coming and that will be stopped. That's my scenario, so screw you. Former Vice President Mike Pence said on the Hug Hugh, Hugh Hewitt show, Hug Hugh, whatever his name is, Hug, Hug Hewitt show in July 5. So, you got it? So, the, this is a statement. We have to find and send troops to fight Russia's further aggression. This is a statement, like it has no doubt in it. It has no if Russia further aggressive, if should, might, mate, no, 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 no. If Ukraine is defeated in the war, that means these guys will continue their aggression. Therefore, we are again, again, we have to, you know, intervene because we never do anything. We just react to other people's aggressions. And I'm quoting, this is great. He says, Pence, I have no doubt that if Russian dictator Putin overran Ukraine, it would be not it would not be too long before the Russian military crossed a border where we would have to send our fighting men and women to fight against them. So he has no doubt. He believes in it. 
What is the evidence, Mr. Pence? Because if you have no doubt, you have to have evidence. Otherwise, you're just an idiot, which I think you actually are, an, a dangerous idiot. So I have no doubt that if Putin right, uh, ov overran Ukraine, the Russians military will cross the border and we have to go and intervene. Well, where is the, he has no doubt, my friends, don't talk in general with this, I like that, I have no doubt, okay, bring, if I drop this, I have no doubt that this will gonna fall down, I, that's a fact, and we can test it right there, but what this guy says, he's putting forward a scenario that he believes in, they're just uh, grooming us, <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll see, you'll see. All right, so he says um, what's going on, and this is uh, Penn's worldview, as I said in many, time, many times. He, he, he uses this because, you know, anyway, you understand exactly what I'm trying to say here. And I'm quoting, what's going on in Ukraine is not just warfare, it's evil. Okay, who's evil? Satan. And who's good? God. There you go. There you have it. This is how this person thinks. Again, I told you. Those guys are evil, evil, we are good, and uh, that's how Pence thinks. And if doesn't think so, at least he makes a statement that means, you know, that's what you said, buddy. And he is convinced, he has no doubt, what was his uh, term he said? I have no doubt, zero, no doubt meaning zero, no doubt that the Russians will do that. It was not if the Russians cross the border, if the Russians win, they will definitely cross the border. So it's not like if the Russians uh, crossed the border. No, it was if the Russians overran Ukraine, they will cross the border. That's a fact. There's no doubt that they will cross the border once they defeat. Why do you talk about defeating Ukraine anyway? Ukraine has been winning since uh, last year, February 24th, as far as everybody here told me. Is there anything I'm, I'm not aware of? And you are? <laughs> yes, my friends, yes. And this is Pence. Now imagine Pence in the White House. He's going to be a... Remember how... He, <laughs> I can't even... I have so many things to say. Remember when uh, George W. Bush, the second weasel, was like a yes sir. He, was, he played dumb. Probably he was. I think he was. But he played his uh, role. He, he, in the whole scheme, he checked, 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 marked everything that was on the list very you know tgc very clear and very yes 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 he did it this guy will be like yes yes we'll do it yeah 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 i will do that i promise thank you very much yes all right that's how this guy's this guy will do it there will be like i don't know i have this ipad and i'm gonna turn it on this and like that, no, like this. This is Pence, and this is okay. So this is how the United States will be ran. Like clearly, he's gonna come and tell us that we're going to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He doesn't even. I don't want to say that. He looks like a robot. A robot. So you understand what's the opposite of a robot? Doesn't even look. Uh, anyway. But the second coming is uh, there, and uh, that would uh, prevent the Russians to definitely attack other countries because that's the way they are. Evil. It's like a scripture, like a dogma. No wonder. So, angry with this idiot. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. Bye.